chosen ones is G Wells with them, and them are you, which are the chosen ones, and I'm chosen, I serve the chosen ones. Hey, chosen ones. I truly believe this word right here that the Most High has put on me is truly a prophetic word. And I usually don't even make those claims, but I really believe that this here is a prophetic word because uh, while I was in the shower, I just prayed and, and asked the Most High to give me a word that will speak into the life of his people. And this was dropped on me. And what came to mind was the situation with Will Smith and Chris Rock. And I'm pretty sure we all have been, you know, brought up to speed with what's going on with that situation because it's plastered all over the uh, media and social media and news and all that. But I truly believe that the Most High has given me a word that will give you all a totally different perspective on the situation from a higher perspective, from all the other perspectives you have gotten the story from. And so just to give you a quick rundown for, you know, those who are not caught up on it. So at the Oscars, Chris Rock was hosting the show and he's a comedian. So we know comedians, their whole job is to crack jokes. Not in a malicious or evil way, just a humor, humorous way. And, you know, just to make light of, you know, the event and the, you know, the people and the situations that's going on in the event. But Chris Rock made a G.I. Jane joke about Jada Pickett because she has, you know, she's losing her hair and she had, you know, pretty much cut her hair. And when he initially made the joke, Will Smith, he laughed about it. But Jada Pickett didn't take light to the situation, didn't take light to the joke, so she, she disapproved of it. And the camera went from showing Will Smith laughing back to the stage where Chris Rock was at. And in between some point in time, Jada Pickett, had to complain to Will Smith about it. She murmured about about the joke and it, or, or or something, and it had to tick him off because he was just laughing about the joke initially. So Will Smith took it upon himself to just walk on stage as nicely and cleanly as he was dressed, and you know what I'm saying, and just he stepped and went up there and smacked Chris Rock and politely turned around and went back to his seat and told him, keep my wife's name out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? We know the vulgar language she used. So I thought of that, that whole situation. And I kid you not, I kid you not chosen ones. God brought me to the book of Numbers, uh, book, the Most High, <laughs> sorry, the Most High brought me to the book of Numbers, chapter 20, verse 1 through 13, and I want y'all, this is my homework for y'all today, I want y'all to actually go read Chapter 20, verse 1 through 13. That's the whole chapter. It ain't long. It's just 13 verses. I want y'all to go read it so y'all can bring forth the revelation as well. But the situation with Chris Rock and Will Smith is so very similar to this. And the Most High gave me this word for y'all today. Moses was in the wilderness with his people with God's people, they was wandering in the wilderness and right before they, they was right near the promised land. 
and they was complaining and murmuring about not having food, water, not having the things they had when they was in Egypt and wishing they would have just died. Wishing they would have just stayed in Egypt in bondage. So Aaron and Moses went into prayer and prayed to the Most High. And the Most High gave Moses these instructions. Most High told Moses to Go get the staff and go speak to the rock. And when he raised his hands and speak to the rock, water will come gushing out of the rock. And then the people could, could drink water and, 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 and give their cattle water as well. So Moses agreed. And when he came out of prayer, the people were still murmuring. So when he, sunk, when he got the community together and the people was complaining and, 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 and murmuring, he didn't forgot everything God had told him. He forgot everything the Most High told him to do. So, because the people were complaining and getting on his nerves and all in his ear with that bull crap, he got upset. And instead of speaking to the rock and letting the most high holiness be displayed in front of his people, he smacked the rock two times. Now, the water kept, the water did come gushing out, but he disobeyed the most high. Instead of speaking to the rock and raising the staff and letting the most high glory, power be displayed in front of his people so that he may get the glory and his holiness be displayed in front of his people. He smacked the rock twice. All because these people pretty much got on his nerves and talked him out of his position. Talked him out of his character. He disobeyed God, and because he smacked the rock, the Most High said that he can now no longer enter the promised land. Moses was not able to speak, uh, enter the promised land because he smacked the rock instead of speaking to the rock. He is no longer able to go into the promised land and Moses missed out on his promised land Moses missed out on his abundance Moses missed out on his blessings Moses missed out on all the things that the most high had had laid up for him in the promised land and we can see this now with Will Smith there's talks of him getting his award revoked he already been kicked out of I guess the Oscars committee or whatever it is they got going on. They're already, they kicked him out. A man that was in his promised land. Will Smith is a very successful man. Has now, is possibly going to lose everything. He's being kicked out of his promised land because he didn't speak with Chris Rock. He smacked the rock, which was Chris Rock. Instead of speaking with him and getting better understanding of the situation and the, and the joke, which could have been handled at a, at, a, at, a, at a more civilized level behind closed doors after the show, he let the murmuring of his wife get into his spirit and make him angry and go up to the stage and smack Chris Rock. And this, this whole situation apply to you guys, chosen ones, because some of you chosen ones are thinking about paying evil back with evil. Some of you all are thinking about 
smacking the rock. Some of you all are tired of people talking about you, are tired of people having their name in your mouth, making jokes on you, making light of your struggles. Some of you all are getting tired of it and you are about to ignore all the directions and the commandments that the Most High has given you about your situation. And you about to go smack your rock. You about to go smack your enemy. You about to go smack your hater. And when I say smack, I'm talking about you about to go retaliate. You about to pay evil with evil. You about to go seek revenge because they hurt you. Because they did this to you. You about to go and throw th dirt on their name. You about to go do the things the enemy has done to you. You about to go do the same things your naysayer has done to you. The person that hurt you. You about to go pay evil with evil. Well, the most high wanted me to tell y'all. You do that, just know you want to forfeit your promised land. You won't get into your promised land. If you go into that situation and you smack the rock, you won't be getting into your promised land. You won't be getting the things that the Most High has promised and spoke over your life because the Most High has commanded you to speak to the rock. And when I say speak, he told you to pray for your enemies. Speak life over your enemies. That they spirit may be released from the evil spirits that's holding them captive. The Most High told you to wish nothing but good things for your enemies. The Most High told you that while you pray, also pray for your enemies that they may receive the spirit of the most high that they may come and experience the goodness of the most high but you are about to ignore all that and then go and smack your enemy you about to go smack your enemy you about to go pay evil with evil and you're going to forfeit your promised land you're going to forfeit you going into your promised land and you, you being stuck out in the wilderness. And some of you all are even thinking about doing harm to someone that hurt you. Guess what? You're going to forfeit your promised land because you're going to possibly end up in jail. You're possibly going to end up losing your life. You're possibly going to end up not being able to see the day of light ever again because you're behind bars. Now, I'm speaking to someone, listen, the Most High gave me this word and this is just what I'm, I'm delivering. I'm delivering the word, that's it. Speak to the rock. Speak life over your enemies. Speak blessings and prosperity. Don't let the chatter, the things that people have done to you, cause you to get out of character and do something that forfeits your promised land, that keeps you out of your promised land, that keeps you from moving forward into your purpose, moving forward into the things that the Most High has for you. Because the word tell us to pray for our enemies even when they persecute you. Now, I'm not saying to let someone do something. If you're in imminent danger and somebody's trying to do something, you protect yourself. But if you're not in imminent danger, you're in a safe environment, you're in a, 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 the confines of your home, no one is trying to come in and harm you or yours, there's no way you should be out here seeking revenge or anything like that. Pray for your enemies. Don't allow the things your haters and your naysayers has done to you keep you out of your promised land, keep you out of the things that are most high. Speak. Speak. Speak life over your enemies. 
speak life. And this is not even about religion or anything like that. This word is for any and everybody. This is not a religious thing. And this is why I get people get so caught up and they miss out on the word of the most high because they think whenever they hear this, this thing is practical. These things are life not this is life knowledge. This is this is information. This is this is knowledge that will help you in your day-to-day -day life. People get so caught up on Christianity. Oh, I ain't a Christian. Bro, this ain't got nothing to do with man-made religion. That's religion. The word tells us John 1 and 1. In the beginning was God, and God was with the Word, and the Word was God. This is about the Word, not religion. Christianity is a man-made group. The only thing that matter is the Word of God. These things can be, these are principles that can be applied to your life. This is not about religion or what's your religion. This is about the word, the word, God's word. In the beginning was the word and God was with the word and the word was God. And this word is going to keep you from forfeiting your promised land. Don't smack the rock. Speak to the rock. Speak life over your enemies that they may be healed from whatever trauma they experienced during their life. So that they may be released from those evil spirits that cause them to do the things they do. Because we don't fight against flesh and blood, but evil spirits and principalities of the unseen world. I just hope this word resonated with someone help someone it's just a word that was dropped on me and y'all know what it is it's G Wells with them and like I say I don't say this a lot but I believe I'm believing God that this is a prophetic word and that I'm gonna speak into somebody and y'all know what it is let's go